Today I'm going to show you how to improve your um, Outlook messages by including a, a much improved signature block using Retagger. When I start my uh, email messages, the first thing that pops up is I have an automatic signature that has this signature block. And this gives a, a little bit more information on what I'm able to do and what my capabilities are immediately by you know just looking at it. Plus, it adds a face. When someone receives one of my messages, they can simply click on to the, the signature, and from the signature it will take them to a website that will give them more information. When they click, and uh, they'll come to this website, which will give them uh, a lot more information about you. For example, at work, they can click on uh, the link from my website, and that will take them to the website. Uh, they can get more details about me, uh, specifically linking back to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, I can provide even more details, where they can provide have my address, uh, my company, uh, more about LinkedIn. This will take you to the info page. Uh, they have the capability of uh, sending me an email. Um, they can bookmark this page. And then you have all these other things that deal with social media. So uh, my delicious site uh, where you can find uh, all the links that I'm interested in, uh, how to get a hold of me on Skype and on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Foursquare, and just uh, a number of different other sites, um, even my slide share. You know, so if you want to see all the presentations um, that I've put together, you know, this is a good place to start. Uh, so this is basically uh, where we're at with this, and next I'll show you how to set this up. Uh, the first place to start is start at Retagger, which is uh, where you're going to create your signature block. Um, when you get to the Retagger site, uh, basically you click up on Sign Up and fill out the appropriate information. And this will get you started on a, an account. In this case, I already have an account, so I'm going to go to that. And I will uh, log in and let it remember me. And from there, I can go ahead and update my profile information. And this is also where you'll go. So. Uh, you can get there by edit my profile, or you can get started and enter your profile information. In either case, it'll take you uh, to the same screens. Basically, this is where you put your information, and you can put as much or as little information uh, that you want to put in here. So uh, I enter my name, what my uh, you know home address is, as much as I want to put in there, and you can also put information about you uh, and add that information. Make sure that every time you save changes by uh, selecting the button at the bottom. And next, add a profile photo. Um, you can upload a photo that you already have, probably from all the other social media sites that you have. And this happens to be mine. Uh, again, make sure you save changes. Enter your contact information. Um, you know, is there a capability of uh, people to email you? And that's the idea of uh, a signature block is so folks can email you. Um, entering your telephone number and address information so they can contact you. Now it gets into all the different websites that you're involved in. And uh, I, I'm pretty amazed at the number that are available. So for each one of these, you click on the plus sign, and you enter in um, for each of the sites. So in this case, I'm going to change this to uh, scrap it. However, for Twitter, I, I want people to use uh, the UWCES. And uh, for any other sites that are you know, available, I would do this also with social networking. So I put in my Facebook, my LinkedIn, and if there's any other sites that I wish to use, I would go ahead and inclu include those. And you do the same for all the other sites that you have. This will automatically save, so you don't have to uh, go in and, and save it uh, each time. 
In the event that you don't have a specific site, for the case of Foursquare, it was not listed, so I entered Foursquare and put in uh, my account how to be found, and that was nice enough to automatically add that too. Uh, same with blogs, if I had a blog, I would go ahead and add that information. Uh, any widgets that I want to add, uh, if there's something that I want to add or uh, use, um, I could use that. I haven't used those uh, yet. Uh, professional information. This is, uh, I work for the University of Wyoming, so I want that information there and the website and then the address uh, how I can be reached. And there may be, you know, you may be actually looking for a job. Hopefully not. Uh, hopefully you got one. And, uh, you know, you can put things that are relative there. Any affiliations? Um, I'm affiliated with Civil Air Patrol and there's probably other uh, affiliations that I could uh, include. Uh, I just have not yet. And then any other detail that you want to uh, put in. For example, how to get a hold of me, maybe through MSN or Yahoo or, um, you know, any other uh, ways to do that. So that's the first part. That's how to go ahead and create a profile. Uh, and you can feel free to edit at any time. And uh, we will now go uh, to the next step. All right, so we've got a profile that we've uh, created. And we can preview the, the profile card. And it looks something like this. The next step is going ahead and creating the signature block. So we'll, we'll go to Profile Tools and click on Email Signature. So this is basically uh, the signature that we're trying to create. And um, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. And it doesn't really matter what uh, email program that you're using. You know, here's a, a variety of examples that you can use. But today we are going to specifically address Outlook 2007. So I'm going to click on the Outlook 2007 and it provides uh, detailed instructions on how to do this. And I recommend that you follow the instructions exactly so that um, you'll be able to uh, duplicate this. First thing that you want to do is you want to highlight the instructions for your particular system. And my, my system happens to be Windows XP. So I'm going to highlight those instructions, uh, right click on them, and select copy because I am going to need this. The next thing, step two, is there is a link here that says to right click on the link. And I want to save as, so I'm going to want to save this as a file. And based on the instructions, what you want to do in this place is paste that the information that you copied into your on, onto your clipboard. Because I already have a file in there called retagger.html HTM that I'm really happy with, I, I'm not going to save over it, but basically you would just at this point click on save and um, uh, click on all files and then save. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Uh, I'm just going to give it like a four so I don't overwrite my information and click on save. And so now there is a file in the appropriate location um, that has that signature block. So at this point in time we are going to go to Outlook uh, to finish our instructions. Okay, at this time I'm in Microsoft Outlook and what I want to do is I want to go check to make sure that signature block is there and make any modifications that I need to it. In order to do that, I select Tools, Options, Mail Format, and then here we have our signatures. And I have a number of different signatures, but the one I'm looking for is that new one called Retagger 4, and here it is. So when I select on that, I can see that my signature uh, is available. 
and there it is. But I want to make some modifications to it, so I'm going to press enter because this is uh, kind of shoved up into the corner. And uh, my cursor now is below uh, the signature block. And I'm going to use the up arrow key and I'm going to move it um, right into the signature block and hit enter twice. And that will just create some space above my signature block and what I want to do uh, is um, put a, you know, put a closing for it. And uh, have a great day is a, is a closing that I use. And uh, so this will um, go ahead and uh, just improve my signature block. So now I go ahead and save it. And um, we're done with that. So I'll close all those windows. And so now I want to test it. So um, we'll go to New. And uh, at the top, you have Insert Signature. So I want to check out and click on Retagger 4. And, uh, you know, basically you didn't see any difference because it looks like uh, my normal Retagger. Um, but that in, is, in fact, uh, that signature. And you can, like I said, we just click on it. I have other signatures, so we can check that one. Go back to Retagger 4 and then that signature. Um, one of the things that's important to note about your signatures is that this is an HTML signature. So uh, if, if I go to plain text, that will get rid of the signature. And I will not be able to add that particular signature in. It will not, it will not show. So you have to remember that you are in HTML, not rich text and not plain text, but HTML. And then at that point in time, you can add the appropriate signature. And then uh, go ahead and send your message. And that is pretty much how you can get one of these signatures in uh, to your email. And uh, it has served me well. So thanks for watching.